Hello Virgo, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Now we have last quarter moon in Capricorn, so Capricorn might be relevant here. Leave the past behind. And this is endings that make way for new beginnings. So when we let the past go, we make way for new opportunities to come in. Anakite, answered prayers. Answered prayers or unikite. Unikite. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. So remember, whatever you're going through, you're learning, you're wiser. It's making way for new things to come in. You're developing, you're going along life's path and learning. So all the efforts you've made are not in vain. You will get through this and you will get towards new, uh, there's new things and new doors that are going to open here for you. The Queen of Swords, the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. That might be relevant for some of you here. Aquarius, the star card. This is coming out in nearly every reading I'm doing. It's uh, Aquarius energy there. The Five of Pentacles. This is coming out and I've shuffled I don't know how many times. The Ace of Pentacles. That's a favourite as well just now. And it's overall central energy. The Two of Swords. The Empress energy, the Six of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. Now, what we've got here is we've got the Five, Six, and Seven of Pentacles here. So we'll just talk about that here. This is progress. There's disappointment, there's upset, there's feeling abandoned, left out in the cold. We're focusing on things aren't going the way we would like. Our cup's feeling half full instead of half empty. Now, what we've got to do here is we've got to heal, let these disappointments go and heal. There's new hope and rejuvenation coming in. There's definitely a decision to help that happen that you're going to have to make. You're going to have to make this decision here. This is a major decision over what these disappointments are. Now, they could be in your work, your finances, your relationships or your environments. But this decision that you've been putting off or you're frightened to make, there can be a fear aspect to this because of the outcome. Sometimes we're frightened to make decisions because we don't know what the outcome a month from now is going to be. That's not important. This is about being in the present, understanding what you've built up till now and making a decision with regards to what's going on in this present moment. Now, Spirit's saying here that you could be joining new industries, you could be looking for new employment, you could be going to study courses, but this is really about your traditional values. So your traditional values are going to guide you here, your intuition will guide you, obviously, uh, but your traditional values are going to serve you well. So it could be your traditional values that have been challenged here in one shape or form that's led to the feeling of this disappointment or things not going the way you would like. So be your true authentic self here, definitely. Be fair and just in the way you go about things. There is a healing that's needed, but decisions are definitely going to have to be made. And anything you do here, the, the universe will support you. Your prayers will be answered. The divine solutions and support are there. You will find the way forward with this, most definitely. Um, like I say, decisions need to be made here. Now, these decisions that you're making are going to come from an intellectual place, not an emotional place. This is about your future. This is cutting people and situations out of your life that no longer serve you. It's making wise, intelligent decisions about the path you want to go down. This is a major decision you're making in relation to how you are as a person, who you truly are. And remember, everything you've done has helped form the type of person you are, what your values are, what your standards are for yourself here. So you will get over this. You will heal. Once you've made these decisions, there's no going back. Don't let anybody talk you out of them. You're leaving the past behind. You're leaving your disappointments behind here. And what happens is you become free to bring balance and harmony back into your life. Now, there's new opportunities that you could be taking up. Now, this could be new contracts. It could be new jobs. It could be new leases. Anything legal that you're signing here, new purchases. This could be windfalls and inheritances coming in. This could be better paid jobs. It could be learning something that enables you to earn more money. It's to do with your security as a whole here. And there's new opportunities and a new path that's opening up for you. So you're leaving the past behind and taking up new opportunities that's going to bring stability and it's going to improve your situation. And these decisions you're making will bring the balance back. 
when you take up these new opportunities here, whatever they may be for you, you're going to be able to work on these things and find that emotional balance, find that financial balance, enjoy the environment, uh, enjoy the people you're working with, enjoy the people you're living with. This is all, all about the Libra and scales. What you put into something, you'll get out of it. And through time and patience, you'll start to see growth coming back. You'll nurture this new opportunity and it's going to work for you. It's definitely going to work for you. You're moving on from the disappointments. You're healing from them. And this is a success card. And there's only more success to come. Nobody's draining you dry. There's no environment draining you dry. You've got enough money to pay your bills here. You know, you're, you're getting it, your act together here. Definitely getting your act together. And what happens here is rebirth and rejuvenation. You come into your own. Love harmony, creating beautiful things around you. This could be pregnancy for some of you, if that's what you're wanting. Uh, you could go on to be married and have pregnancy in your life. This can be the singles card. There's no doubt about it, but that doesn't mean to say there's not new opportunities will come in for you in the future. That's obviously not for everybody. But the important thing here is you're making the right decisions for yourself here uh, and you're creating love and harmony round about you. Rebirth rejuvenation is coming in. So there's new opportunities to be taking up, decisions that need to be made, disappointments, situations, people, environments need to be left behind. Protection. Protection. You're not alone. You're being looked after by your spirit guides and angels. Always. Let's take another one. Your prayers are being answered. Abundance. Abundance. Great news is heading your way. Abundance is coming to you in many forms. And that's what will happen. You'll start to build again. You'll start to get that into that right place. You're on that right path. Uh, and there's great things coming in. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.